I'm Jeff Pollard at solarpowertothepeople.org and Jeff Pollard11 on Instagram. I'm with Dave Kincaid at Permaculture Revolution. If you haven't guessed it, he has this cool, <laughs> very cool truck. <laughs> and we're going to talk about permaculture. Dave, tell us about permaculture. Tell us about this beautiful baby right here, too. Yeah, well, first off, you know, I got to say, people give me a little bit of a hassle while I drive around this big diesel, you know, turbo diesel old military truck and, and doing permaculture work. And believe me, the compost and mulch that this beauty dumps on the land and the, the work that we do, uh, I'm pretty, I'm hoping it far outweighs the, the footprint of this. So it's all good. I like that. <laughs> I like you're being aware with it. And what's the, what's the name of this truck again? Uh, it's a big green. <laughs> Big green. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe we have another shop truck. It's a half ton Chevy and it's a little green, but obviously they can take it. So I had this truck custom built for this work. Um, so I just, you know, a few years ago I was getting to retirement age and I decided to get uh, 40 off grid acres in the middle of nowhere in Arizona um, to be able to weather the future, seeing, you know, I kind of seeing all this stuff unfolding. And I did that and that's uh, what skills do I need to learn? Uh, and it started with water harvesting. Uh, reading Brad Lancaster's book on water harvesting and watch his TED talk. Uh, it, will, it will change your life. So in just going down that path, it's like permaculture came up and learning these skills. And it's like <laughs> that day when I met Bill Mall Mollison um, in books and in videos uh, was the day that my life changed. And that, I don't know, there's, probably, there's a lot of us are feeling this uh, awakening of consciousness in the, in the world right now. Um, and whatever your passions and gifts are, it's like calling you to just be who you are. And apparently my gift is to work with the land and uh, work in community with people to uh, regenerate the earth. Uh, as I was going off grid to do my lone wolf thing, um, a couple years ago, should have been there a few years ago. I have a property eight years. Um, Bill Mollison from you know, Permaculture Designers Manual kind of wrote the book on all this. Uh, it says, uh, don't design your first property be your own design many other properties before you jump in and so following that path um, led me into working with a community of people who are doing this work and I am still in the city in the middle of the city of Southern California Irvine California doing the work because people are actually waking up to this work and hungry for this knowledge and I'm learning so much from the land and doing this work that I'm still in the middle of the city um, realizing that we can do some amazing transformational work to the the climate to the water systems, to the health, you know, the growing nutritious foods, and it's, it's super exciting. So I'm just going to follow the synchronicities going forward. And it's led me to here this day, hanging out, volunteering at a worm lab, a worm <laughs> farm, you know, on Sunday Sunday afternoon. You know. So for all those that don't know, though, how would you define what's permaculture to you? How would you define it for yourself? Yeah, um, permaculture. Just that word, you know, it's it's a new word, and that, and it's my my vision that it, everybody knows what the has been exposed to the word. So is permaculture a permaculture, permanent agriculture? Is it permanent culture? And and it's it's like yes, it's a it's just a design system based on indigenous knowledge of people that have been doing this for you know forty thousand years. It's, it's a lot of uh, ten thousand year old science that we're rediscovering how to live with the land. Yet, yet thrive you know, in the abundance that nature has to offer and live beautifully. You know? um, we were told you know, a different version of history of how the Indians and indigenous people lived. You know, they chose to live flowing with the land, moving with the seasons and following the game. And they wore beautiful clothes. They had wonderful families and lives. And um, they chose to flow with the, the water instead of like, I want to live here. I'm going to make sure the water just goes all the way to the ocean. Yeah. And, and we, you know, desertify the, the landscape by doing that. Yeah. And so getting involved in permaculture, this design system is based on three ethics and, and 12 principles. Right. And so it's very finite, but super broad and powerful. But the ethics are earth care, people care, and fair share, which is, you know, care for the future. And then behind that, there's 12 principles that, you know, it starts with, uh, you know, uh, observe and interact, uh, capture, store energy, obtain yield, and on and on, you know. Yeah. So there's these 12 principles, and in these, it deals with soil, water, trees, you know, design systems, patterns, designing from patterns to details, 
And so any discipline that you're in is covered in, in permaculture on how to design it so that it works with the system you're in. Orient your house south facing for, you know, plant deciduous trees so that you have block when it's hot and you see, you know, uh, plant food forests. Uh, replace your lawns with total food forest gardens. Rehydrate the earth, eat nutritious food. Uh, it's just, and so what we learned though, so, um, like with you interviewing people, I, at one point I interviewed all these experts in permaculture and I was expecting to hear, oh my gosh, we got 30 years of topsoil, we're all going to be dead, this and that. There was no doom or gloom because those of us doing the work right now see how fast the earth responds and does its abundant thing that it does. So, uh, and, and we're right at the tipping point. We're actually at these converging tipping points. Tipping point, as you can see, of the tipping point whether humanity is actually going to be go forward the way that we're used to. And this is, we're in the middle of the sixth extinction right now. All the insects that I don't wash off my windshield anymore than I used to when I was a kid. And so we know we're losing species daily. Um, so there's this like this convergence of, of consciousness to waking up to this. Uh, the work done with the earth and the work done socially you know so when we when we do this work on the earth the earth responds so fast and now people are they're also waking up you know right now so fast that so there's this this convergence that um, something is everybody knows intuitively we're, we're going into this evolution of consciousness and of the world because it's never gonna be the same you know We've lost so many species, so many things, but it's actually but the, the earth is going to win. You know? Oh yeah, and we get to play this part, and it's, so it's fun to be a part of the ex of the exciting shift into this next you know wave yeah. of life. You know, so permanent culture, permanent agriculture, and permanent community is what and it's all about. So, what can the people find if they were to go to a permaculture on Instagram per se? Like, what what would we find? What what is it you like to speak to us about? What do you like to convey on your page? Yeah, that is, that as soon as you, as soon as you start thinking in this way of being a 100% cycle of uh, through the earth with the, the way when you go in the forest, the forest is, is so abundant, right? There's just stuff everywhere, plants growing, and all the stuff falls and it decomposes. And when when you at home when you when you just realize, wow, I can do that wherever I am. You know, I can compost my food. I can, you know, regenerate, reuse all the stuff that I use, and just totally shift my thinking into what is a what is the cycle of the planet, not the cycle of uh, the big box stores or the, the media and all that stuff. But what what is? You know, and you just start composting your food, and just all of a sudden, it's like it just lights go on, and you just feel this calming peace of being connected. To, to the earth and the people around you because you start talking about it, you know, and you start sharing things, you start getting to know your neighbor and you're realizing that when we all grow foods, when, when it's time to harvest the foods, we all pick different things, we're all different people, we have such abundance, we get to share and learn from each other. And it's like all these things just dissolve away and we're like, what? We, we can just like all work together and you know, it's like, and then money goes away and need goes away because at the end of the day, if you're all contributing to, to surviving as humans, yeah. everybody gets to eat. You know, even if it's somebody over there just meditating and just because like I don't want to do anything, it's like, dude, you get to eat because you're being the highest expression of yourself, just like that tree over there. If that's you today, then come on, dude. at the end of the day, come and eat with us. You know, and I think that's where we're going. All right, I like so. Permaculture is just a design science. Yeah. That uh, we will we'll, we'll keep this right where we're at, yeah. but it also it'll make sure that we have we think seven, seven generations down the road. Oh, okay. No, I believe it. I hope so too. Now, uh, you mentioned steps. You mentioned books. Is there something that personally you would say if somebody wanted to say, okay, after I watch this video, I'm going to get started right now on something? Is there something you can think of uh, that would help them get started on just going in that direction of this kind of permacultural lifestyle? Now, I know you mentioned the books and all that, but is there like a physical thing or? Uh, something they can like go out and get or you know anything you can think of well the, the best thing I can think of is to go sit in nature just just sit and just like I'm gonna sit in nature for all afternoon or for at least an hour you know 
make sure you have something to drink, you know, hydrate it, you know, go to the bathroom, whatever, and just sit and just observe what happens when you're in a cool spot in nature. And, and that's really all you have to do. And it's just like, I didn't know anything coming into permaculture. You know, I was a tool and die maker in manufacturing. You know, I'd guard the little ones as, as a child, and, you know, and, and I'm being taught daily by the plants directly. You know, and it's like, I'm not sure how that works. It's just a knowing that the more time I spend in nature, it's like, oh my gosh. That's why these these gurus, you know, in the Himalaya, they sit in a, in a cave and they, and you know they come out after 30 years and they and they sit in a seminar you know in a, in a debate toe to toe with a quantum physicist and they're speaking the same language yeah you know so i just encourage people to just like just sit with nature you know and then and then go go back and and, and watch a documentary on from culture pick any one okay if you're gonna watch one movie watch the biggest little farm the biggest little farm okay yeah because yeah. it shows the process of seven year process of of watching it all come into balance uh, when going through the, the principles of it seems like it's not going to work. You get too many predators. You get this and that. You just wait. Nature will always come yeah. into balance. So yeah, observe nature and realize that you are a beautiful part of that web of life. All right. Always. You're just like an ant. You know, you see an ant, you see an ant walking around. What's my purpose? What's my purpose? I'm just, I'm just doing what ants do. Yeah. And I'm just gonna. I, I find out my purpose in life is just to like do what Dave does. <laughs> Thank you. No, so I, I love that. The simplest thing you can do is just go out and experience what nature has to offer. Really understand it. Really absorb it. Just be one with it if you can. So yeah, I'm with Dave Kincaid. We're at the Permaculture Revolution. And you can see them on uh, Instagram also. And I'll put up all the handles there. And thank you so much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Permaculture. Permaculture. Thank you. Mm-hmm.